Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Shovel Knight King of Cards. Last time we got spanked by Skip again, and it was not fun. King Knight did not enjoy the spanking, but we did defeat the Truple Acolyte, so we at least had that going for us, I suppose. But that's about all we had going for us, if I'm going to be honest. Oh yeah, these things just explode like as soon as you hit them, basically. Curious to see if there was anything hidden in that wall there. This is going to be an interesting level. Die, weird bird thing that has a lot of health, strangely. Huh, weirdly tanky bird thing. These weird goat knights. What's the deal with them? Hmm, I don't remember them looking like that. Give me that money. I need all that I can get right now, honestly. Ah, I remember these jerks. I hated these things in uh, Vanilla Shovel Knight. The little fish with like the metal beak thing, basically. Metal mouth, I suppose. Well, it helped me get that, so I suppose I can't fault it too much. Hello. Can you give me some health back, please? Thank you. No, I said give me health, not take it, you jerk. Boom, boom. Oh wow, we're almost full health again already. Fantastic, really. Like I said, the heart hammer is really good, actually. Uh, there we go. Alright, just wanted to grab that money. This is risky, but I'm doing it for the cash. It's what King Knight would do. Out of here, weird beetle. That's like, I... Ooh, hello. I was scratching the back of my neck, so I'm kind of glad I caught that in time. No! And then I fall. Damn it. That was... That was rough. I don't like that one bit. Wait, is that not a secret? Get out of here, big boy. Huh. Well, I'm gonna be going back through this level, it seems. To get that secret that we missed up there. At least I know where it's at. At least it's not one of those, uh, situations where I have no idea where the secret is hidden. Enjoy your trip back to the lava, Blaze Orb. Wait, how'd you die to lava? You're fire yourself. No, you're not pushing me off the edge, damn you. There we go. Ooh, hello. You're kind of a risky one to get, aren't you? But I got you nonetheless. I wonder how many uh, areas we have left in this, actually. This is quite a bit longer game than I imagined it would be when I started it. Because it is a DLC, but this is Yacht Club we're talking about. They're insane. I wasn't ready for the one to actually come out of that. I hate to admit. They're pretty good for grinding health, though. I'll give them that. Ooh, that was risky. But we made it. Ooh. That came up at the last possible second. I was pretty terrified there. I thought it, for sure I was going to get my feet cooked. Alright. There's Mole Knight hanging out on the world map. We're not going to fight him because we got to go get that last thing that we missed. So let's just go ahead and speed run this area, why don't we? Well, these are free money, so let's at least kill them. I should have grabbed that money while I was up there if I'm so obsessed with money. These things are really good for grinding health, I got to say. The weird flying things. They look like birds to me, but not really sure if that's the proper thing to call them. I mean, these are obviously fish. The little things that come up out of the lava. Some sort of lava fish. That would have been really bad if I needed that fish to make this jump, but my uh, impact sparks actually killed it. That enemy's weird. I guess they're designed basically just to push you off the side. Alright, let's just take this the safe way down. There we go. Alright, I think this is where I have to make... Yeah. 
Alright, let's not mess it up this time. Oh, he is so positioned to kill me. Please? Okay, that doesn't work. Ooh, maybe that will, though. I wonder if this would work, actually, if I could just dash across the screen to the, uh, thing. There we go. Yeah, I just wanted- I didn't- I didn't really want to mess with that skeleton on that platform. He is obviously put there to screw me over. So, I didn't want to mess with him. Alright, fishy. I know what I gotta do here. I remember doing this in Vanilla Shovel Knight. Cool. Mr. Blaze Orb. So good of you to come out. Here we go. Not too difficult of a level so far. I gotta say. This level was pretty simple, but fun to play, nevertheless. Hey, big guy. I didn't actually get to kill you last time. Let's see if I can pull it off. Without you... Well, you... I killed you. You fell into the lava, but... Well, you fell in again. At least I got your money this time. Give me that heart. I don't even care what's in that platter. I don't need it. Too good for it, some would say. I would never say that. I'm so... I'm, I'm so painfully aware of, uh how bad I actually am at games. Really, all you need to do is watch speedruns for any games. I'll, though that's a bit of an unfair comparison because those people do play those games just an absolute ton to get to the level of skill that they're at, but really just watching someone speedrun anything will initially, will immediately uh, make you question how good you actually are at some of your favorite games. Unless you're a speedrunner yourself, of course. Then you'll just be like, oh, that's a cool strat. I should try that out. I am godlike. No, you don't. Go away. I'll just step on you. That's what you like, isn't it, you stupid bird? Uh, this is bad. I'm gonna jump back here. I was not feeling very safe there. <laughs> okay. One more rising platform. That fish caught me by surprise. It kinda spooked me, I'll be honest. Fish, how dare you spook me. Alright, I have a Mole Knight to beat up. Let's go, big guy. Oh, I gotta dig to you, huh? That's how we're gonna do this? Hmm. I wonder if I could do anything with that enemy over there. Or was he just hanging out? Somebody didn't read the no diving sign and you broke the lost hot tub during my only break. Pa, it's beneath my royal rank to read rules, commoner. I prefer to speak and be obeyed. Down here, I am the foreman, and I make the rules, and the rules are posted for a reason. In my caves, when you act high and mighty, you get brought down to earth. Alright, well, let's go then. Okay, you're a little spooky. So far. Oh, I remember this attack. Stop that. Okay, so yeah, that's... Yeah, I see you hiding. Oh geez, what is this? I don't remember this. That is new. He's coming from the ceiling too? Ah! I'm trying to switch to my heart. I need it. Need some health for sure. Alright. There we go, just get some attacks on his butt there. Oh god, your scary attack. Um... I am trapped. Please stop trying to kill me. Sir. I'm sorry I broke your hot tub. Alright, I'll admit it. Ah, oh, he got me right when I was getting another heart. Alright, Mole Knight. Alright, I see you. I understand what you're putting down. You're not happy that I destroyed your hot tub. I get it. Oh, cool. My money's just right here. Ow. You and your cheap shots. No, you don't. I'm getting as many hits on you as I possibly can. There you are. Ow. Where are you coming from? Okay, over there. 
Whoa. Okay, you got me. Okay, get some attacks in. There we go. That's like the best time to actually get damage in on him. There we go. Bust you out of there. Oh wow, that, that run went way better. I guess it's because I actually got him when he was hiding in the dirt. That does help. Thanks for your money. And your medals. Now I can go back to my ship and maybe beat you up. Unless you're just as difficult as Skip. Let's find out, shall we? Alright, Mole Knight. Are you as difficult in cards as you were to fight? At least the first time. We can go ahead and buy, um... This as well. Yeah, the healing tears. Press down to heal up. All right, so how does this work? Huh. That seems incredibly powerful. I wonder if you can only do that once a level? I would hope so. Because if you can just keep doing it... I mean, I know in a lot of boss fights it would be really hard to pull off. You wouldn't have time, but... All right, Mole Knight. Wish I was back at the dig site. I loathe being aboard this expensive novel this expensive novelty. And I don't have time for games. Well, maybe one. Ah, yes. Cods. Quite a lot of grave spots in here. Ooh. Mole Knight's a pretty nasty card. Hmm. How about we just uh Maybe not. Maybe yes. Hmm. I would much rather prefer just to get you off of the map, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, let's just move you right there. Alright, now what? What are you gonna do? Ooh, that was a good move. You know what? Props. Props to you there. Well, that could potentially screw his card up, because if we push it up one more time... Oh, wait. If I do this, though... There we go. Now we just go ahead and get that junk out of here. Fortunately, he also got my junk out of here. Well... Down you go, potentially... No... Yeah, let's just knock you down. Oh, that's how you're going to play it, huh? You're just going to keep destroying my cards? Well, I'll just keep destroying yours too, then. How you like that? Ooh, if I have a double arrow... Which I do... Get out of here. That's my gym. Hmm. Don't have a lot of things to do here currently. I could push you out of the way, but not really a point in doing so. Well, let's just put that up there and hopefully we can move him, never mind, onto that space is what I was going to say. But no, we cannot. I could move that over there, but once again, there's not a lot of reason to do so. Does he even have a play he can make? Yeah, he can move that card on the bottom to the right with, uh, his mole soldier thing. So he could do that. If he did that, though, I could steal it. He could also... Not really do a lot else, in all honesty. He doesn't have a lot of viable plays to make, so I think... Huh. I think I might just do this just to clog up some spots, in all honesty. Well, no, because if he did... If I put this here, then he can potentially blow up this card with Percy. So that would give him another viable move to make. I don't really want to give him more of those. We can't really push anything else anywhere. So Percy might be the only move we can make, actually. No, I can do that. 
push more of his cards off the field, and then he wouldn't be able to destroy my own cards with it. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to get that gym either, but I don't think he can, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. What you gonna do? The only move you can? That's fine, because now I will put this here, and that should solidify my victory. There we go. Hard fault, Mole Knight. I love how I'm taking down the greatest knights, but the random fisherman guy is just, he's too much. Or not, he's not a fisherman, he's like a sailor. Well, there we go. We have 11 medals. Certainly have enough to do that uh, volcanic challenge now. I don't really think there's much else I want to be spending money on either, so I guess I'm just going to um, buy some cards with it. Yeah, sure. What do we got? A Tad Float. That's not a bad card. What else we got? I haven't really been buying these that much. Oh, there's the Alchemister. That's also a pretty good one. That's one of the ones Plague Knight had. That I was very close to taking. A Graps? Well, I still only have 34% of those cards. There's a lot of cards in this game, actually. Ah, I got a Blaze Orb. That sucks. Just keep rolling that dice. Grandma Swamp. There we go. And last but not least, a Hoot Stack. Okay. There we go. Spent all of our riches that we swindled from Mole Knight. I guess now would be a good time to go ahead and put Mole Knight in our deck, because he's quite powerful. He's basically just a better version of that, so... Oh yeah, he's probably way up. Yeah, there he is. There you go, Mole Knight. Welcome to the deck. I hope you enjoy your stay. Where's, uh, where's the King Knight card? Do I get my own card? Everybody else seems to have one. Why don't I get one? Alright. Way back over here. We're gonna do this now. Alright, buddy, I have the stuff now. Yeah, the... Spin through the air in a vortex of flames. Sounds cool. Scorching Saber. Meet me at the other side. Oh, you can't shoulder bash in here. Use the Scorching Saber I just gave you. I like how Shovel Knight has these little things. Um, whoa, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. I didn't know it was like that. It's like, um, it's Mar it's a, uh, not Marth, uh, Ike's Aether from, uh, Fire Emblem. Specifically how it looks when you do it in, um, uh, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, this is super cool. I love this a lot, actually. I feel so cool using it. Man, what a neat relic. I didn't expect him to have so many cool relics. I thought kind of all of them would be gimmicky and weird, but they're really not. I quite like that. This could definitely be useful in some boss fights, if I didn't just want to save the money for the uh, heart hammer, that is. There we go. I would like that money, even though I don't really need it anymore, but hey. I wonder if I'm ever going to be able to uh, actually get 100% of cards in this. Like, and what I mean by that is, I wonder how much of it is just rolling on that one thing and just redoing card matches to get them all. I wonder how viable it is to actually get all the cards. Alright, buddy, we can leave. And I guess I can probably play you in cards now, I suppose, if I had to guess. Well, horse boy, what do you got, huh? Maybe I can beat you. Skip is now, like, an old character, but I still can't defeat him. He's just too strong. Yeah, there he is. Ah, oh, the life. Thanks again for your help. Got more gold than I can carry, so let me kick you some. Hoof on heart. I love playing Joustus. You up for a round? Yeah. The best Joustus player I'm not. Nay, I don't even care if I win. I can afford to max out my cards. Alright, what are you rocking? Versus Barton. Well, I have a lot of explodey boys. 
right off the bat, so that's fun. How about we put you right there, so we can just start annihilating some of his cards. There we go. Is that a good play? Maybe not, maybe it'd be better if we did that. Yeah, that's probably a better move. And then we can destroy the bottom card off of that gym as well. Yeah, Toter is really powerful. I quite like him. There we go. Yeah, you can go ahead and get him off the screen. If he's worrying you that much. Fortunately, I can now bop you off the screen. Oh wait, no I can't. Oh, he switches sides when he's getting pushed. Okay, so I can only push him down, basically. Or annihilate him with a rat. That's always an option as well. Hmm. What possible move is there for me here, actually? That would be good. I am not sure. Wait, did that... Oh, okay, I see what was happening there. So this, the explosion effect from the Triple King takes place after you push it. So, he was blocked after the push. Okay, that's, that's not that bad then, but this is the best card to put here, because he now can't do anything about it, unless he destroys it with a bomb. That is fine, sir. I will now put this card here, and probably screw you over at some point. Ah, uh, that's rude. That's very rude. Let's see, does he have a card that has a down arrow? He does not. So I could potentially do this. He has a card with a right arrow though, so he could push Mole Knight onto Treasure Knight and steal it that way. Which would not be ideal, so... Let's, let's do this instead. This is safer. It still gets him off, and he doesn't have a card that pushes to the left, so he can't steal it. Luckily. Alright, I think that's good. And now I just play a card up here and I win. There we go. So it's re it really is just Skip. It, it really is just him. He, he is the one giving me trouble. Birder. They are birds. I already have a hoot stack. I don't think I have a mantar. Let's take a birder. Thank you. I appreciate your cards. So that's three more medals. We're not fighting Skip again. I'm scared of him. He terrifies me. He's basically the... the, um, Sephiroth. I'm trying to think of some other characters. <laughs> I was trying to think of the character from Final Fantasy IX, who actually... what, what was his name? The antagonist of that game, I can't remember. He's our Gary Oak. Just all kinds of things, really. Our, uh... Sin in Final Fantasy X. Alright. Explodatorium, Rat Splitter, Runway. That's probably what we need to do next. We've honestly cleared most of these other areas out completely. So, yep. Rat Splitter, Runway. Looks like this one has... Two paths? Whoa, I forgot they explode. That was my bad. Forgot all about that. It even warned me by calling it Rat Splitter Runway. That's such like a Donkey Kong Country name. Rat Splitter Runway. Like, minecart madness and all that stuff. Just the alliteration and warning you about what you're in for with that area. Go away. There we go. Try and get as far away from that explosion as I can. Oh no. I might have had to use you to get up there. Or I have to use the potions. Yeah, I think that's actually what I have to do. Oh, I slipped off. That was my bad. Get out of here. There we go. What you got for me? A metal? Nope, just money. Boring. But I guess it'll help buff my card collection. 
There's weird potions. I don't I don't recall seeing these in vanilla Shovel Knight or Plague of Shadows. I could be forgetting though. I don't remember everything. And up we go. Okay, this one I totally Or maybe I don't need to bounce off of the potions. Oh, I just need to tackle into the wall right there. Simple. It just was eluding my mind. Poor brain can't handle it sometimes. This is a nasty looking room. It's all that turkey. Also a very loud room. Let's get out of this loud room. What about say, is fire gonna come up? It sure is. Is this a secret? It sure is. Oh no, now it's a blaze orb. More money, really? Where are all my medals? I guess they're just not just hidden in secret areas like that. Which is fair. And away we go. Is this leading to a boss fight? Okay, no. I was worried for a second. Oh, it's leading to an auto-scroller, even worse. I would rather have the boss fight, please. Uh, get out of here. Don't have time for you. I'm trying not to die a horrible death. Ooh, okay, we barely had platform to land on there. I'm pretty sure if I hit the bottom of the screen I'll die, because I think that happened on the last auto-scroller I had. Like, if there's not a platform where I land, I'm dead. And hit that, please. Go away. Alright, I'm gonna need to see some platforms down there. Thank you. Huh. Feels like there's something hidden over there, but I don't see anything, so... I mean, in that, like, lava fall to the left. Well, there's definitely something hidden right there. And I just barely got it. How fortuitous. Huh. This is pretty simple. Except for the fact that there's not a platform under these. And I would have died. I would have died. Well, luckily we have the best armor in the game, basically. Maybe for the final boss fight I'll put the uh, useless pretty armor on. Just to, uh, you know, show off, basically. Okay, I'm, I'm not trying to die here, but you're being very annoying. Can I get a, uh... Sir? If you would, uh, kindly come over here. Thank you. Thank you for giving me your heart. It's amazing how the, the heart hammer just very carefully extracts the heart from the enemy. Just rips it right out. Hmm. So there was a alt path in that one and I didn't find it. Huh. I guess we can take one more look through this episode, see if we can find this elusive alt path. Come here, you. Alt path, where are you hiding? I need to know this. I must 100% the game, otherwise what's the point? I'm not even somebody that 100% uh, games like all the time usually. But when I'm having, like, a ton of fun with a game, I will 100% do everything that I can. I definitely, uh, had that sort of feeling in, um, Hollow Knight. I never finished all the DLC, like, I didn't do Grim Troop, and I certainly didn't do Gods and Kings, because... Wow, no, I don't, I don't think I'm good enough for that, if I'm going to be honest. But... I did do everything in the base game, basically. Except deliver the Delicate Flower. I didn't do that. And everything else was fair game. Alright, I should be keeping an eye open for any potential hidden things. Can't get up there. Ow. Alright, I don't think it's... I don't think it's in this room. Like I've said before, this room is kind of obnoxiously loud, so... Out of here we go. Could be hidden here somewhere. Ooh, I wonder if it was jumping up top there. Huh. Do I get more money? I do. I should have opened that other chest back there. I mean, it's free cash. Why not? Hmm. 
I'm not sure where this hidden area could be hiding. I mean, I got the, like, little challenge area, but not really seeing a one of the red alt paths. Are these getting harder to find? Oh, I was kind of hoping that was going to be it. But no, that was just money. Hiding over here? No. Now I'm, now I'm paranoid that it's behind a breakable wall that I just didn't see before. Doesn't look like I can actually get to the walls here because the lava... The lava fall, as it were, will stop me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not... seeing much. Okay, that just leads to that. So, we don't need that. Oh, I guess this. No. No, this is just where we went last time. Huh. Well. I died, but we don't really need that money. I guess I can relook for the... Uh, secret area one more time? I really just have no idea where it's at, though. I mean, we can destroy this. Free money. Why not? We don't really need it. Yeah, we've already found it wasn't up there. I almost want to say it's something to do with this room, but I don't really know where it would be. It really feels like it's hidden in a wall somewhere, or it's something obvious that I'm just not noticing. I feel like I scrubbed this area pretty well, though. The only exception being going up here, but no, that's not the solution. I do not get more money this time, so I'm not going up there to that treasure chest. Okay, here's where it was. Cool. All right. Good to know. Take me to the alt exit, please. Glad we actually found it. I was scared I was going to have to, like, cut and just go through this level a ton to get it. Give me that last gym. Hello, Mr. Slime. I'm going to beat up on you while I wait for this fire to go away. There we go. Looks good to me. Please don't burn my butt. Thank you. Uh, oh, I almost died. Almost had a brush with death. King Knight does not like brushes with death. It really messes up the gold armor, you know? Alright, fires. I don't have all day. Ooh, this is going, actually. Huh. I kind of thought the uh, exit would be right here in this room. Turkey? I'll take it. Eh, let's stick with the heart. I was going to shoot that enemy, but doesn't really seem to be a point. Ow. Ow. Okay, these... these are jerkish. I don't like these. I'm very bad at dealing with them. Thank you, sir, for spawning. Can you, uh, please allow me to get some hearts out of you? Thank you. I'm gonna need them. Okay, there we go. Got the timing a bit better now. I say as I fall... Okay, take a breather. How's everybody doing? Okay. Okay, just nice and slow. Actually concentrating a little bit on this one. Huh. I didn't realize I had to jump twice for that one. All right, we are out of here. That was pretty stressful. That was pretty stressful. All right, so there's our alt exit. Next time we have the Trupal Pond Exolongal Cove. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Shovel Knight King of Cards, and I will see you next time.